In our area of the world, we don't get April showers, but we do get the black-chinned hummingbird, Archilocus alexandriae. They begin their annual stay as a spring migration from April to July. This sojourn lasts to the start of fall migration that begins in July and ends in October. So we have individuals arriving from April to July and leaving from July to October. These smallest birds like our riparian and coast live oak habitat zones. They breed here with the female making her nest of local materials. Those who choose the riparian zone have an orange nest made up of dead sycamore leaves and petioles. They often nest in the sycamore tree. Those birds that choose the oak habitat zone to nest often have a gray nest that is made up with the fuzz from willows and cottonwoods. The male and female chose different territories and just get together to mate. The female wants a good nesting area while the male wants a territory with the best food supply to attract the females. When she comes to eat, he puts on an elaborate courtship display where he performs spectacular aerial stunts and then makes sure to flash his special iridescent feathers so she will be impressed. If she accepts his advances, they mate. Then she returns to her territory to make her nest of soft and downy material, which she holds together with spider webs. After she has completed her nest and had her eggs develop in her, she deposits two eggs in a small teacup-sized creation. Thirteen days later the chicks hatch and two weeks later they fledge. She will help them out for a few days and then they are on their own. While helping them and getting them ready to go, she regurgitates undigested, mushed-up insects and nectar into their gaping mouths. She will start her brood early in the migration in case there is a disaster where her young are either killed, disappear, or die. This gives her an opportunity to have one more brood before the season is over. About 30 to 40 percent of the adult hummers don't survive a season. The oldest hummer in captivity lived for 12 years. This species can be confused with ruby-throated and coastus hummingbirds. The clues to identification are a long bill with a slight curve, the male's purple flash at the gorge, the tail being longer than the wingtips, and the male's black chin. The females are hard to distinguish. A beautiful addition to our warm seasons is the black-chinned hummingbird, Archilocus alexandriae.